So quick. That was about a minute. What's the algebra? 64 is? How do you get rid of this? Subtract. And this? Subtract. And then once we have all that done, how do I get cosine all alone? Divide the entire thing by a negative 90. So cosine C is? Do, do, do. 64. Like, oh, 0.4667. Thank you for giving me more decimal places. Um, I had a big discussion in the other class about where we should be rounding, how far should we be keeping, and blah, 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 blah. Try, as a rule, general, general rule of thumb, try to keep as many decimal places as possible. If this entire thing is 0.4667, and the angle C is inverse of cosine, which is? Finish it. Sixty-two point? Um, one, eight, one. One, eight, one. So I'm going to round it to one, eight. Please note, on, on, in the test, it'll probably tell you what we should we ask you to round to, whatever. So just hold on to that. So let's update it. This is 62.18 degrees. Okay, next step. We can use cosine law again, right? Because we have side, 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 and we're looking for, let's say, angle B. But there's an easier way. Because of, because of this angle, we now have a matching side angle pair. If we have a matching side angle pair, you can use sine law. You can still do this if you want to, no problem. I'm not saying you can't. But just for the sake of exercise, let's take these two and use it to find angle B. Um, where can I erase it? Can I erase it? Yeah. So following sine law, now that we have a side angle pair. Now have sine of 62.18 divided by 8. Sine of an angle B over 5. And so after we do the new formula once, we go back to our old stuff and it still helps us. We can unpackage this now. Let's try it out. Multiply both sides by the denominator to get rid of the denominator. How many times have I said that this year? I'm hoping, if, that, if anything, I'm hoping by the end of this year that you're, you'll be a little more comfortable with denominators and fractions. That if something happens and you happen to have a fraction, you can get rid of it. If you want to. Okay. Someone's going to have to do that for me. Have something else, please let me know. Okay, so sine of B is thirty three point five six degrees. Thoughts? 
What's the easiest way we can get about it? Just do 180 subtracted by 62.1. Take a look at the image. The reason why you may want to have a, a habit of updating your picture is hopefully, even if you can't see it algebraically, picture wise, you can see that out of the three angles, you have two of them already. And so that final angle is 180 minus C minus B. So if angle A is 180, Minus angle C minus angle B. Eighty four point two six. Thank you. There it is. You could probably confirm, and I guarantee if you have been rounding a little too early, right? If you're rounding a little too early, you actually might not get a sum of 180. You might get a sum of like 179, or you might get a sum of 181. But that's all because of rounding. Okay? So don't, don't worry about that. 